Hi, I'm John Molesky, host of Dialogue. Welcome to the Wilson Center in Washington, D.C. And this is where we tape the program. Just completed a session with Mark Mazzetti, our guest. Mark is here as a public policy scholar at the Center. When he's not, he's at the New York Times, where he's a national security correspondent. Mark's working on a new book about what you call the shadow war. Explain the concept. Well, it's a, a look at um, what I'm calling the war outside of the war zones uh, since September 11th, 2001. The away from the big wars of Iraq and Afghanistan, you've had a whole nother war carried out uh, in places like Pakistan and Yemen and Somalia that has, I think, changed how the United States fights war and created this model that we're going to be using for years to come, and it involves drones and the use of contractors and special operations and and, and spies and and it's um, it's been um, I, I found a, a, a sort of rich tale that's evolved over ten years and it will um, it will continue to evolve. And, and we were just talking about that how you know when you begin covering a news event, a, a fire, breaking news, it's a singular event. But over time, especially when the events cascade in reaction to each other, a, a theme starts to emerge. So what's the theme that's emerging in your story? Well, I think that it is a um, it, it is it is the, it is a sort of narrative of of how the U.S. you know goes to war in countries they are not at war with, and so uh, if you look at Pakistan, which is an American ally, um, what has the United States done in Pakistan? They've carried out missile strikes by the CIA. They've um, used special operations troops. They've been in this very um, tense relationship with Pakistani spies. One of the things that themes I'm looking at is the relationship the CIA has with its intelligence services in other countries. And you're forced into this relationship where you don't trust each other, but you rely on each other greatly. Um, it has made the Pentagon look a lot more like the CIA in sort of the expansion of a military intelligence gathering. And has made the CIA look a lot more like the Pentagon using drones to carry out missile strikes in secret. So um, it's, been an, uh, it's been an interesting decade or so. Is there a merger in the offing there? Where they uh, yeah, become well, so I mean, much and, and, like, and, and uh, it's interesting. You know, last summer you saw um, Leon Panetta, the, the CIA director, go take over the Pentagon, and, and David Petraeus, a four-star general, uh, go run the CIA. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, I, the question all authors dread, what's the deadline for delivery of the final manuscript? Um, well, I'm, I'm hoping that the book will be out uh, at some point in 2013. Uh, and um, so it's, uh, I'm, I mean, I hope to have it wrapped up, uh, you know, hopefully by the end of the year, this year, 2012, and, and then it's up to the publisher when, the, when they want to publish. I hope I didn't cause too much anxiety by asking that question. No, You're no, used it's, to meeting no, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I'm, ho I'm hoping for next year. <laughs> well, when, when it's published, we'd like to have you back. Uh, certainly. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for joining us. If you would like to hear more from Mark, uh, come to the, our website, wilsoncenter.org, and find the Dialogue Radio and Television tab. If you follow those, uh, click your way through, you'll find your way to the complete 30-minute dialogue session with Mark. Thanks.